Now, going on to the cultural part of the podcast, you have Garth Brooks begging you to support the Ukraine. And the boycott against him intensifies. Now, this video actually came out, um, I believe it was actually about a year ago. And ever since he had his recent business blunder, I would say, because he's losing fans, where during the Bullet boycott, where, again, a little summary, you had a trans activist who targets children as their average user on TikTok. But I thought this is going to be good. This person who every day dresses up as a woman and does stereotypical women things, we're going to have them be our spokesperson. There's a huge backlash. $28 billion in stock just gone. The stock valuation dropped by $28 billion, lost more sales. They're no, for the first time in 20 years, they're not the number one, number one beer anymore. That's how bad it was. And Garth Brooks, when asked for comment about Garth, he has a bar, and they're going to ask, are you going to have Bud Light? And he said, oh, yeah, we'll have all the beers. And how do I impersonate a serial killer's voice? Because that was Garth Brooks. He's like, oh, yeah, I just want to have all the beers. Want, want everyone. I, I just want everyone to like me. And, and, and if, you don't like, if you don't like Bud Light, you're, you're an a-hole. Go to hell. Like, he insulted everyone who was participating in the Bud Light boycott. If you look at the, I would say on the average, politically speaking, people on the Bud Light boycott are more often than not on the right side of the political aisle. And if you look at country music, more often than not, I would also argue there, there's a lot of overlap, if not ex a, a whole lot of overlap, where that's the same audience in many, in many ways. So Garth Brooks said that, and people started to boycott Garth Brooks, and they started to dig up his past, as they often do with these boycotts and social things online. And they came across this interesting little, uh, they come across this little video, and disclaimer, he does look like a serial killer in this video, so I'm not going to subject you to his face, unless you watch the highlight, you can see it's his thumbnail. It's, um, it's like he doesn't blink sometimes. But, uh, let's, let's play this real quick. Hey everybody, Garth Brooks. And Trisha Yearwin. And we're proud to say, we stand with Ukraine. Why? Well, I, I don't know why, but let's hear. Especially the refugees. There's uh -oh. a global initiative, and of course, supplies and aid is already spread thin. And this is where you come in. We need your help. We need you to donate. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, we, we always ask for love and prayer. He's a multimillionaire, just uh, also. Please keep doing that. But we're also going to ask you, dig in your pockets, be part of the greatest global relief plan mankind has ever seen. Everybody deserves dignity. Everybody deserves a roof over their head. Except the Russian citizens. They don't deserve that, apparently. Head ...to feel safe. You can be a part of that. Yeah, amen. So join us, won't you? Stand up for love. Stand up for mankind. <laughs> Everybody go. God, that guy's creepy. I think he blinked three times in the video. He must have eye drops off screen where he just constantly squished that in the eye. Now, a lot of people are critiquing this video in particular because it was when the U.S. was having a lot of economic, well, still are having a lot of economic issues, but it was when the U.S. was struggling and more people were focusing on helping the other countries in the U.S., which is a political topic, topic as well as a cultural topic, which goes back and forth throughout the years. Where do you put resources? You have a finite number of resources. Where do you help? Who and where? Do you help at home first? Or do you, is it, do you consider your civic duty to help this country you've never heard of? You can't point it out on a map. And the, a lot of the comments were saying, you know, all you know, lost families in the United States are struggling to put food on the, pay, on the table to pay their mortgages, keep the lights on during that borderline recession. And we have Garth Brooks saying, you know, just just help out the Ukraine. I mean, they're great. Maybe that's because that's where he has all the dead bodies. And if the Russians get in too much, they might uncover the dead bodies from Garth Brooks. Allegedly, he might be a serial killer. I have to use that allegedly. But it's interesting to see as people start to boycott him more and more, they're pulling up these videos where it's kind of hilarious because he's a multimillionaire. He could just, you know, do a lot. But interesting to see Garth interesting to see now thank you again for taking the time to tune in i really appreciate it if you take the time to subscribe we're trying to get to 3,000 subscribers by the end of july and we're getting closer and closer and closer also don't forget to tell your family tell your friends tell your co-workers heck tell your enemies tell anyone and everyone just stay safe and fight the good fight